occurring in a 3D world where 2D ghosts live their lives. Pet a dog. <laughs> going everybody welcome back for a new vid so yesterday was a showcase called future game show which was presented by games radar they had a uh, they had a few games that were from warner bros coach media sega all sorts of stuff but there was one game that caught me by surprise i was not expecting to see a game like this and so before I even show it, let me show you a bit of shots for it so I can even show you. Here it is. It's called the Outbound Ghost. So if, if you look very closely at it for just by looking at the, the right side and not the logo, then you'll you'll see that it has an interesting style, and that's the style of paper. And what other game had a style like that? Yep, you you're probably thinking the same thing. Paper Mario. So immediately I, I'm de I'm immediately invested with this style because right here it looks really amazing I love the character design for each of these characters especially the little ghost that the, the little ghost guy I wish I knew his name but I also like the dude in the background with his uh, with the undercover hat that is a really great design so I want to look at just take a dive at the trailer as well as the uh, the developer trailer as well because they put out two videos for it and just wanted to also to get some more info on it as well because this looks like a really fun game all right so let me see that last one. so it's zero so i'm guessing that's because everyone's a ghost so that would make sense <laughs> So here's the RPG battle system, so, yep, simple turn-based RPG. Wait, time it right, time it right, time it right, come on, yes! Alright, so it looks like you have to time it to the right side of your attacks. So that's how a lot of these some RPGs work, that's how the Paper Mario ones work, so you would time it and aim it for the white parts. I'm guessing the white part will do the white most damage, because normally for attack like that, it would just normally be the center. You would have to aim for the center. Oh yeah, I'll also explain how the, the game storyline in a bit when I go to their website, so... Oh wait, let me also talk about this guy. Look at that turtle. That turtle is probably my, one of my favorite designs, along with the tombstone as well. And it's going to be on all platforms, so the Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. So that's great. I'm I'm glad to see this is coming to multiple platforms as well. So that's going to be fun to check out. But now let's look at the six-month development process. Looks like now. That is a major jump right there. That is a big improvement. I love that improvement. Because look at the grass. So the grass is this is how it looks like textured. Now. But look now, cause look at the look at the bush over there. That is a major big step. As a you lot. can see, there are some pretty insane changes. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, so there's the eight. All right, so there's the HP that's displayed. But wait, what's the yellow bar for? The game has. As you can see, there are some pretty insane changes. I'm curious what the yellow bar is going to be for. It looks the like game has I'm guessing the more damage dealt to him the more a cr the chance of a critical might happen. That's what I'm guessing might happen. Oh, and I also just noticed there's the turn order as well. New environments, and most obviously of all, it has turn-based RPG co Oh, okay, so I see now. All right, so the yellow bar will stun them. So it, the more you build up the yellow bar, 
it will stun them. So I've yeah, Street Fighter has a similar thing where you, the more attacks you do to the characters, that the more it will put them in stun for a bit. Any new characters, many new environments, and most to, obviously of all, it has a turn-based RPG I combat. Like this may surprise some of you since I've previously said that I have no intention of adding such a thing, even though the game is very inspired by Paper Mario. And the reason for this wasn't so much that I didn't like turn-based combat or that I felt that it didn't fit the game. It's actually the complete opposite. I absolutely love turn-based <laughs> RPGs. <laughs> yeah, I love turn-based RPGs as well. Because I know some people may uh, will have a better distinction to play action RPGs, but I enjoy them a lot. There, because I when I first played, of course, Paper Mario: The, the Thousand Year Door, it was amazing. It was that that's probably the best way to get introduced to turn-based RPGs, especially if you're just new to RPGs. Um, because the combat just just feels way more engaging, especially for the quick time attacks. They're just so much fun to pull off. I designed the combat that so it would take the, the best aspects of Paper Mario-like gameplay and the strategic we'll depth of classic JRPGs. One of the, the most the highest is spectral. Okay, ghastly spectral. For example, this is the first figment you'll get. It's called Regret. It's a bit of a jack of all trades that does decent damage and can even buff and heal a bit. This other one is called Callousness. It's I'm basically like, that's a able to take hits on behalf of other party members. This one's called Camaraderie, and it's a nice <laughs> little figment that heals your other ones. So as you can see, they kind of represent a part of the main Look at the character's self. The glasses self. right there. Look at the one with the glasses. My favorite is the mimicry aspect. What it does is it gives you a skill that turns you into anything that you select, friend or foe. Then you can oh. use all of their skills. There are also oh. some more basic ones that, for instance, just increase your damage by 10%. But there are tons of interesting ones that are super strategic to experiment with, and since each figment can equip three, there are tons of possible strategic combinations. For example, this is what the old lockpicking minigame looked like, and this is what it looks like now. Yeah, so they moved into it, the UI. They, com they, they combined it with the UI. It's much better really with the good. visual style of the game, and it's much less janky. The word battles have it's also been re- Yeah, that's, it's way more appealing since they utilized the interface way more for this. ...worked into this minigame, which I will go more in depth in a future video. So yeah, as you can see, there's an oh, insane amount of new that. stuff that I can't really cover all here, but I'd love to pull on my YouTube community tab, and that will allow you to vote for the next one. Oh, wait, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. For all the here, got weird for but I'd love to pull on my YouTube community tab, and that will allow you to vote for the next video's topic. The consistent devlogs are coming back, and I'll be uploading one every two weeks, and I look forward to seeing you again on the 8th of April for that one. See you. Alright, okay, so I have a lot to look at these, because I'm definitely going to um, invest a lot more time into this, because this one looks like a lot of fun. Ghost is an adventure game about good ghosts figuring out the cause of their own death and helping others to come to terms with the afterlife. Plays an amnesiac ghost who stumbles into a town of freshly murdered ghosts who still cling on to the emotional baggage from their past lives to help them move beyond their troubles to free their spirit to the afterlife. That, hmm. Yeah, I like that story. That's interesting. So, you essentially die your, your character is dead, and you're trying to f put pieces together, as well as help other uh, ghosts move on to the afterlife. That's a really uh, that's a great premise. I love, I'm liking that. Wait, 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 hold up! I just I just noticed this. So, me quirky yet multi-faced ghosts that need your help to to feel at peace with themselves, take in the scenery in a 3D world where 2D ghosts live their lives. Pet a dog. <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking at their poll right now for what what the next devlog should be, so I'm definitely voting for the combat, but if anyone wants to also put, um, vote, uh, I, you can vote here on their uh, YouTube community tab. It's like the one I have, so I'll probably share it. You know what? I'll also share it on my page. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it gets picked, but it looks like people are very curious right now on the old systems and how they've evolved. So, that might be the next thing, but, anywho, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to quickly look at this game, because this, this has got me by surprise. I was not expecting this. This looks amazing. I'm definitely looking forward to this, but I'm having more content on the way, so, thank y'all for watching. Be sure to um, sub to your boy, and I will see you guys later. Deuces.